Great question, Daniela. She said, if I wanted to go rent a preschool space for a church, how in the world should I talk to them? Because maybe I don't even go to church there. my preschool owners have decided to put a preschool inside of a church because they a don't want to do it in their home or b don't want to get an actual preschool building or a business space or anything like that and a church just seems like the natural first step and it's not as intimidating as signing a five-year lease it's not as intimidating as having like a business structure where you have to have signs up and it feels so like you know sometimes stark and cold and just they want that more warm cozy feel and a church definitely serves that need so how can you talk to the church though right well my recommendation and i've actually researched a lot of churches because as i've tried to grow i had to reach out to churches too when i couldn't find a preschool building and of course my home was full so when I would reach out to churches, I would first introduce myself as, hey, I'm Joy and I'm the owner of this preschool in our area. And most of them are like, oh, hi, because they knew me really well as far as the community preschool. They didn't know me personally, um, but they knew my preschool really well. And I would just start chatting with them and say, because we're growing, we're looking for a space to move our preschool into. And of course, if this is new for you, you could say, we're starting a preschool and we're looking for a space for, to put our preschool into. And we were wondering, do you have any space in your church that you rent out. Now, this is not a foreign question to churches, guys. They get this all the time. Anybody that answers the phone at pretty much any church you can guarantee has been asked this question multiple times by either Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, uh, any kind of organization like dance camps or karate studios or you know tutoring, whatever. Like it is a thing. Many many churches do this thing where during the week they have all this space and they would love to get a little bit of income from it right hey quick question does the word daycare literally feel like fingernails on a chalkboard oh chills i hate that word daycare so if the idea of staying home with other people's kids watching them for 12 hours every single day feels more like a prison sentence than an actually rewarding career listen up because i've created a free guidebook called the seven secrets to starting a preschool it's going to help you whether you're doing an online or a local preschool i want to get it in your hands simply go to preschoolsecrets.com or click the link in the description we'll get it right to you okay go get it right now don't forget it's free during the week they have all this space and they would love to get a little bit of income from it right so it's actually a really common thing and then that person is usually not the right person to talk to though and so they'll usually say well actually my you know person that you would talk to or my pastor or whoever um the person that you would actually talk to is not here right now but let me definitely have you take their phone number and be able to chat with them later so the questions you want to ask this person are how much would it cost and what kind of size of room do you have and when are the openings available during the week because you want to make sure like if monday tuesday wednesday Thursday is full and the only day you could have is Friday you'd have to say is that worth it for my preschool to just have a one-day preschool probably not um, so they might say well you know we have something we have another organization in our building from Monday and Wednesday but Tuesday Thursday Friday is open and you'd have to say okay well I could either do a Tuesday Thursday class or I could do a Tuesday Thursday Friday class and is that what I want for my preschool just make sure that you're not settling um, so if it's really the schedule you want go for it um, and then you of course you want to know how much Usually churches are so willing to work with you. Um, so they'll usually have a set rate that they charge and uh, based on the time that you're in there with them. And then the other big factor though is where are you going to store your materials, right? Because they don't want all your preschool stuff around, right? They've got church going on the next Sunday. So that is the other factor when you have to think about a preschool is where are your materials gonna go? Um, usually they'll be able to have like a nursery or some kind of a children's area already set up because it's a church with children usually um, so sometimes you can use their things just definitely ask those questions ask about materials like tables um, and when you bring in your materials where are they going to go it would be really annoying by the way to have to cart out your materials 
all the time. Maybe they have an extra closet or something that you can bring in some rollers, set it up, and then bring it right back out. Um, but the thing is, it's not going to be a quick yes or no answer right there on the phone, even if you could pay it. They actually take it, have to take it to their board to make sure that everyone on the board is A-OK -okay with you having your preschool in the church. But do be aware that that's one of the final steps you need to have before the actual approval happens. So keep that in the back of your mind. But that being said, the church is still a really great option for you, especially if you don't want to have to go get a preschool building or if your home isn't an option, definitely check out all the churches in your area. You might get a lot of no's, but all you're looking for is one yes. Post in the comments what your idea of being in a church is. Would you like to have your preschool in a church or not? What are the pros and cons to you? Post in the comments. I can't wait to read them. Be sure to share, subscribe, and like because as always, I want to be able to share my message with the world. So thanks guys. We'll see you on the next video. So <laughs> take in the very final parse. <laughs> I cannot get through this video. No. I will get through this. I will do it. Okay.